Let's look at how to customize your Streamlabs alerts. This works in both Streamlabs and in OBS, and it works mainly for Twitch and YouTube, but Trovo and Facebook technically as well. And you're gonna start on streamlabs.com slash dashboard. And if you haven't already, go into the settings, find platforms and link any relevant accounts. We then go on the left, click on alert box, and now we're entering their new alerts editing area. And before we do anything else, before we edit or customize any alerts, let's add them to Streamlabs or OBS. So for Streamlabs, underneath sources, click the plus button and choose alert box. You can then click on it at the bottom, mine's locked, so I'll unlock it. And then you can just drag it around and you can resize it. We'll look at how to test it later, by the way, but this is the area it will appear. And lock it in place when you're done. And in OBS, you click the plus button, click on browser. Once you've given it a name here, you go into your Streamlabs alert section, click to copy the URL, and you'll just paste it into this box to add it. And I recommend shut down source when not visible. I'll just delete this one because as you can see, I have already done it with this one. So now the alerts are added to OBS or Streamlabs. Let's look at how to edit these alerts and make them look good. And there's two ways to do this really. So very quickly, the paid way is with the Streamlabs Ultra themes. You can use my affiliate link and try it for $9 off the first month. You would just click browse themes in the top right and choose the theme that you want. And then you're basically done. Of course, I know most people don't wanna pay. So what we'll do is we'll create some alerts from scratch. So in the top right corner, I'm gonna click the drop down list and I'm gonna add a theme. For me, I'm just gonna call mine multi-stream test. I am going to check the box to create it with the Streamlabs default settings. And then I'll just click on start from scratch. And if I now click preview in the bottom right, these are the default Streamlabs alerts. So if you really don't want any other alerts, if you just want the default, you could be done here, but of course, let's look at how to customize them. On this general settings page, I typically think Streamlabs has left us with some decent defaults, so we don't need to do much on this page. Now this global editing page is great to make sure our alerts look great, regardless of the type of alert. For example, it would make sure that a YouTube sub and a Twitch follow looks the same in terms of style. So this is really where you're setting your default aesthetic. And of course, don't forget to hit the green apply to all alerts on each one. And then we come to editing each individual alert. So if I click on Twitch on the left, it opens up the varying alerts. And if I click on preview after clicking on follow here, you can see this is our basic Twitch alert for now. And this is where we would make all our changes to make it look the way we want. So again, on the preview, you can see we've got Jumpy Kevin, as they call it here. If I wanted to get rid of him and just have text, I could just delete him. And if we preview it again, it's just text. And of course, I could change the duration. For example, I could lower it to five seconds. Regardless of what you do and what you change on this page, don't forget once again to hit the green save button. Now we can also add variations. So let's do that. And it looks like the variations were intended mainly for subscribers because there doesn't seem to be much use for follows. You could add the variations just to get different text to show on the screen for followers. But I think the real intention here is, for example, to differentiate a one month sub from a one year sub. So if I click into subscriptions here, if I click on add variation here, let's do that. Let's do one year sub variation. And I'll use the default settings. You could use the current settings and I'll press add. And I think the key thing on this page is the condition. And for me, I'll do months subscribed is exactly, and I'll change it to 12 months. And in my example, what I've done is on the message template, I've just added a bit at the end, which says, thanks for your incredible one year of support. And of course you can press the preview to see what it would look like. And then this is only gonna trigger when somebody subs for one year exactly. So I think that's a great use for the variations. Again, if I save this variation, you would have to make sure that you are editing your normal subscriber alert for everything that isn't 12 months. So then all you wanna do is just go through all the different alerts you have on the different platforms and edit them to your desires. A common one I see by the way, and that I've done on my streams in the past is I've made sure that the sound is turned off if they're not sending you money. For example, a Twitch follow or a YouTube sub, they're not sending you money. I wanna differentiate it and only play sound when I receive money. So what I often do is on anything where I don't get money, I'll just turn the volume to 0% and save it so the sound doesn't play. Now we can also edit our tips alerts and you can see also Cloudbot Redemption and Merch, which are lesser used as well as Patreon. You edit those exactly the same way. You just go through the settings and press preview to see what it looks like. But how do we look at it inside both Streamlabs or OBS? Well, you can see towards the top here, we have this test button and we can just choose to test something. 
So let's go on YouTube and test a YouTube sub. And as you can see inside Streamlabs, Kevin's now bouncing up and down. And it's actually showing me here that in the vertical output, I probably want to shrink it a bit so it's actually on the screen. And let's confirm that that is working inside OBS as well. So as you can see, Kevin's jumping up and down inside OBS too. So again, if you want to skip all that and just do some one-click OBS themes, then you can use my Streamlabs Ultra affiliate link to get $9 off. And if you want to know more about tipping and CloudBot, I'll put some guides on the screen.